Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we are bringing you another knitting basic tutorial and that is how to cast off. So a cast off is a very basic essential step in knitting and that is how to get your stitches off the needles. So to get started all you need are three things. Firstly your yarn of course. Today we are using Zara Kid in color number 15. You need your needles. Today we are using a US 9 or 5.5 millimeters. And you need a pair of scissors. So let's get started. So the first thing that you're gonna do in order to cast off is knit your first two stitches. So when you have two stitches on your working yarn, the next thing that you're going to do is take that first stitch with your left needle and bring it over the second stitch and just pop it right off the needle. And that's your first cast off. So the next thing you're going to do is knit one more stitch and do the same thing. So you take that first stitch that's on the needle and bring it over and off the needle. and you just keep continuing that all the way across your row until you get to the last stitch. So something important to remember when you're casting off is you don't want to hold your yarn too tightly. When you do this, it makes your gauge really tight and it can make your cast off edge really tight and not really workable if you're going to sew it together or it'll cinch it in if you're gonna leave it as just a cast off edge, let's say for a scarf. So you want to kind of hold your yarn loosely and just, you know, nice and easy, pop it over. You know, you might want to pull some yarn out just so it's not super tight against the needles. Or another thing that you could do is size up. So right now I'm using a US 9. I could use a US 10 to cast off just so you have a little bit extra space to work with if you do have a tight gauge. So I'm just going to cast off all of my stitches till I get to the very end of the row. So now that we're at the last stitch, you might see that there's nowhere for you to cast this stitch off, but have no fear. All you do is just pull your yarn out and once you have a big enough loop, maybe five or six inches if not a little more, snip that loop right in half and you can pull the ball out. And then what you're gonna do in the end is just weave in all of these ends so it kind of disappears into your project. And that's it, you guys. That is what the cast off edge looks like. It's super nice and clean, so it's the perfect edging to any sort of fabric that you're doing, whether it's stockinette stitch, garter stitch like this, reverse stockinette, even ribbing. No matter what you're doing, you can use this cast off method. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you leave a like and comment down below and subscribe to our channel. And I'll see you next time.